So you ask once again for you. Today I am going to teach you two phase method. So most of the students are asking me that uh, after our completion of coding the simplex method, Wicker method, the most of the students are eagerly waiting for this method that is two phase method. That is for the LPP we are going to solve the values of we are going to find the values of x1 and x2 by using two phase method. So actually the given problem is in the form of LPP that is in the form of the object function in the form of maximum z equal to 3x1 minus x2 subject to constraints 2x1 plus x2 bracket equal to 2 x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to x2 less than or equal to 4 with normal restrictions x1 comma x2 greater than or equal to 2. So for the first step, so as usual for change the inequalities into equalities by introducing snack variables or surplus variables. So this is the form of greater than or equal to Now I am going to change the inequalities into equalities by introducing a surplus variable. Why? Why? Because in the form of greater than or equal to that is minus s1 plus k1 that equal to 2. Now I am going to change the inequality to equality for the second constraint that is x1 plus 3x2 less than or equal to means plus s2 equal to 2. And finally we have x2 less than or equal to obviously that is x2. So already we use inside the variable s2 and again s1. So we have to use s3 equal to 4. So after this the standard form of matrix is ax equal to b. The standard form of matrix is ax equal to b. Now I am going to represent all the values here that if we have variable x1, x2, s1, s2, we have s3 and the artificial variable a1. These are the, the coefficients I am going to represent here. The coefficient of x1 is 2, x2 is 1 and s1 we have minus 1 and we don't have s2 and s3, we have a artificial variable 1. In the second constant we have 1, 3, uh, we don't have a sign variable s1, we have a sign variable n, uh, s2 that is 1, 0 and we don't have a artificial variable. If you observe the last constraint, we, we don't have a x variable, we have only x2 that is 1 and we don't have any sign variables that is 0, 0. For the artificial variable, for the sign variable s3 we have 1 with artificial variable 0. This is all the matrix A. With x means all the variables we have, x1, x2, s1, s2, s3, a1. If we are going to multiply these two matrices, obviously we will get all these equations. So, a x equal to b means all of you 2, 2, 4. That is, that equal to 2, 2, 4. These are the both the stand form of matrix. Now, we have a two phase method means uh, we have phase 1 and phase 2. So, first of all, I am going to represent phase 1. That is, we have as usual CB, YB, XB and all the variables X1, X2, S1, S2, S3 and artificial variable A. So, all of you, in the phase 1, you are making a point all the variables, the cost will be 0 except the artificial variable cost is minus. Clear? Yeah. So, these are what you have to remember this step for phase 1. So, in the first equation, we introduce an artificial variable here. The cost of this artificial variable is minus 1, as usually minus 1 here. In the second one, we introduce this line variable as 2. The cost of S3 is 0 and again if we introduce S3, the cost of S3 also 0. And I am going to represent this, that, that is A is equal to B means we have a matrix 2, 2, 4. With the entire matrix I am going to represent here, that is 2, 1, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. One more, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 0. And finally we have 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So after that, we have a object function in the form of maximum z. So the maximum z formula is obviously C B plus B. Minus 1 into minus 2 and the remaining values are 0, obviously 0. And the next step is z j. The formula for z j is I mean C B takes a minus 1 into 2 again minus 2 and the rest of the values are 0, that is minus 2 again minus 1, minus 2 minus plus 1, 0, again 0, minus 2, 1 is again minus. So why because so the remaining values are zeros. And we have an attraction condition of u, j minus cj, greater than equal to 0. This is
This is ZJ minus CJ means this one. Minus 2 minus 0 again minus 2. Minus 1 minus 0 again minus 1. 1 minus 0 again minus 1. 0 minus 0 again 0. 0 minus 1 minus 1 minus plus. So that is 0. Here we are unable to satisfy the natomation condition that is ZJ minus CJ rather than 0. So from this we have to consider minus of maximum value. So from minus 1 minus 1 the, the minus of minus value is obviously minus 2. And we have a minimum ratio rule of few that is xp by xj. xj means this arrow will represent x1. So that is 2 by 2 that is 1. 2 by 1 again 2. 4 by 0 that is undefined. So from this minus of minus 1 we have to consider minus of minus 1. From this we have to consider plus of minimum. So like what we did for the simplex method or for the big decay method we have to repeat the same thing for two phase method also. Only thing is we have to have the answer of cost of the order of the variable should be zero and the artificial variable cost will be minus one. So from this the rest of minimum is one. If you are going to combine these two we will get a key end. Because of this key end with only we are unable to satisfy this netization can we show the next iteration table, what we are going to do, we are going to make the Kelvin peculiarity by dividing itself. X1 is incoming vector and the activation period is the outgoing vector and the cost of X1 should be zero and make all the elements in the key column has to be zero like what we did for simplex method. Okay guys, so the first iteration table is over. Now we will go on to the second iteration table. So all of you, X2 is incoming vector and A1 is outgoing vector. A1 is outgoing means so we have to remove this entire artificial variable form. So for the second iteration table, we have CB, YB, XB and all the variables X1, X2, S1, S2 and S2. So we have a CJ as usual, all the values are zeros. So in this X2, X1 is incoming vector and A1 is outgoing vector. The cost of X minus so when X1 will come here, the cost will be zero. And there are no changes for the side variable S2 and S3, that is as usual S2, the cost will be zero, and for S3, cost will be zero. Now we have to make the key element into unity by dividing itself. So now I'm going to make this 2 as 1 by dividing the entire row. With 2, that is 2 by 2, that is again 1. This is all about 1. This is all about 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2, and the remaining value should be 0 and 0. Now I am going to make all the elements of the key column has to be 0. So already letting the record the value is 0. Now I am going to copy the entire data that is again 4, 0, again 1, 0, 0, 1. Now I have to make this 1 as 0. Okay, so let, let us take some sort of a rough and copy the entire data. 2, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0. With the help of the key row, 1, 1, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, and again 0 and 0. Now we have to get 0 here. What can I do? Simply I am going to subtract this with that. That is again 2 minus 1, that is 1. 1 minus 1, that is 0. 3 minus 1 by 2, 6 minus 1, that is again 5 by 2. 0 minus 2 minus plus 1 by 2, 1 minus 3 again 1, 0 minus again 0. Now I am going to represent this entire row here that is again 1, 0, 5 by 2, 1 by 2, 1 and 0. So what it means all of you, I am going to make the key element to unity by dividing itself and make all the elements in the key column has to be 0. Now I am going to apply the as usual procedure like simplex method that is the maximum z equal to the formula. The maximum z equal to Summation C B X B zero again the value should be zero. And the formula for Z C summation B into X C the value should be zero, zero. When we are going to multiply with any sort of a value with zero, obviously the value should be zero. And the intervention condition Z J minus C J greater than zero, the value should be zero only. Here the first phase is calculated that is all the values should be satisfying the netavation condition that is the phase 1 is over from this data we are going to consider our one more iteration table that is phase 2 ok guys so the phase 1 is over now I am going to represent the phase 2 with the help of the phase 1 that is phase 2 so as usual all of you for in this case the same data that is cb, yb, xb and all the variables we have x1, x2, 
S1, S2 and S3. But in this case, we have to consider the actual cost of the data. That is, if we observe the question, that is, the object in the form of maximization, that is 3x1 minus x2. The cost of x1 is 3, the cost of x2 is minus 1, and we will say the cost will be 0. Clear? So now we will move to phase 1, the last step. So we have to consider this entire data. With the help of this, we are going to consider the phase 2 iteration. So we have a x1 here. We have S2 and S3. The cost of S1 is 0, the cost of S3 is 0, but here you have to observe the cost of X3 is 3. We have to write here 3. But not in this case, all of you. And I am going to present the entire data here that is 114, that is 1, 0, again 0, 1 by 2, 5 by 2, 1, minus 1 by 2, again 1 by 2, 0. Then we have our 0, 1, 0 and finally we have 0, 0, 1. After taking the I will a mass of 3 steps that is maximum of z equal to say machine C B takes the 3 into 1 plus 0 into 3 plus 0 into 3 0 the value should be 3. And the formula for the same say 3 into 1 again 3 the value should be 3 only. 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 0 and again 0. Now the letter question calculations are of you J J minus C J greater than equal to 0 3 minus 3 again is 0 3 by 2 minus into minus plus So that is 3 by 2 plus 1 that is again 5 by 2 Minus 3 by 2 minus again minus 3 by 2 0 minus again is 0 again 0 But here also we are unable to satisfy the letter question condition of the uh, minus of maximum will So minus of maximum this is minus 3 by 2 Again after this we have uh, the same procedure for the minimum ratio to x p by this arrow will represent s1. So that is x p by s1 so that is x p by that is 1 by minus 1 by 2 that is the value should be negative. We have to consider only the positive values. So again 1 by 1 by 2 again 2 again 1 by so that again 4 by 0 is the underpin. So obviously the plus of minimum is 2. If I go to combine these two the element should be 1 by 2 key element. So because of this key element only we are unable to satisfy the net equation condition. So the next step is all of you. We are going to make this key element as unity by dividing itself and leave all the elements in the key column has to be 0 and S1 is incoming vector and again obviously so take a part S1 is incoming vector and S2 is outgoing vector. Now the next iteration table is as follows. Okay guys, so uh, now I am going to represent the second iteration table for this two phase method that is phase 2. So we have uh, the variables cp by bxp and all the variables x1, x2, s1, s2 and s3 and we have the variables as x1 as usual the cost will be 3. Now we have to s1 is incoming vector, s3 is outgoing vector, the cost will be s1 here, the cost will be 0 and there is no change in s3, the cost will be 0 as usual. Now I am going to make the k element to unity by dividing itself. So I am going to make this 1 by 2 as 1 by dividing 1 by 2. In order to divide with 1 by 2, it is better to multiply with 2. I am going to multiply this, the second row with 2, that is 1 into again 2. 0 to anything is 0, that is 5 can get scanned, 2 to get scanned, so the value should be fine. 1 by 2, that is again 1, I am going to multiply with 2 and again 0. Uh, to make all the numbers in the key has to be 0, so we have to make this value as 0, obviously the value should be 0. Simply I am going to copy the entire data 4, 0, 1, double 0 and again 1. Now I have to make this minus 1 by 2 as 0 by using some sort of row operation. So let, let us take some sort of uh, let, let us copy the value that is value 1, 1, 1 by 2, minus 1 by 2, 0 and 0. With the help of a key row that is value 2, 0, 5, 1, 2 and 0. We have to get 0 here. So without loss of generality, I am going to multiply this entire data into 1 by 2. 2 to get scanned, the value should be 1, 0, again 5 by 2, 2, take a part in 1 by 2, 2 to get scanned, 1, again 0. Now we have to consider these two. Which operation we have to apply here? If I am going to add these two, then obviously we will get 0. 
So that is 1 plus 1, that is 2. 1 plus 0 again, 1. 1 by 2 plus 5 by 2, that is 6 by 2, that is 3. Minus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2, 0. Z0 plus 1 again, 1. And Z0 plus 1 again, 0. Now I am going to represent this entire row in the first row, that is again 2. 1, 3, 0, 1, 0. So the CJ values are 3, minus 1, triple zeros. Now after that, we have a maximum of z equal to summation cb index in 3 to the 6 and the remaining values are zeros. And the formula for z is is all about summation cb index j, cb index j 3 into 1 again 3, 3 3 is a 9, again 0, 3, 0. We have an integration condition j j minus cj greater than 2 to 0, 3 minus 3 again 0, 9 minus 2 minus plus 1 10, 0 minus 3 again 0, 3 minus 3 again 3 and 0 minus 3 again 0. Here all of you, we are going to satisfy the net aversion condition. Therefore all of you, maximum z equal to be gone, 6 with x1 equal to 2 and x2 equal to 0. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Thank you.